Hi folks, RSBN founder and CEO Joe Seals here. Did you know there is nearly $1 trillion of infrastructure and pandemic funds yet to be spent? That's right, there's a massive amount of money that the lame duck administration is pushing hard to spend in their last few months. If the president is able to push these funds out, we could see another prolonged inflation surge, just like during COVID. And I'm sure you remember the terrible effects that high prices had on most Americans, but there's hope. A surge in prices can be beaten. A gold IRA from Birch Gold Group is the ultimate inflation hedge for your savings in uncertain times. To see how to protect your IRA or 401k, get your free info kit on gold by texting the word TRUMP to 989898. Birch Gold makes it seamless to roll over your retirement account while preserving your tax advantage status. Don't wait for the president's spending spree to tank the dollar further. Protect your financial future now. Text TRUMP to the number 989898 for your free info kit from Birch Gold. A former senator and a friend of mine for a long time, and we had disputes every once in a while, but generally I would say it was a 10 relationship, and he was a tough cookie, Senator Al D'Amato. Right? Good man. A good man. A great lawyer and congressman, and he helped me a lot during impeachment hoax number one and impeachment hoax number two. They were hoaxes. Congressman Lee Zeldin. He's great. And he's a big part of our campaign, and I want to bring him to Washington with us. He's a great lawyer. Get ready. Ambassador to Israel, David Friedman, who's fantastic. A mayor who was a fantastic mayor, very shy kind of a guy. He took crime. It was terrible. It was at a level that was as bad as today. And he made New York the safest big city in the world. Rudy Giuliani. Boy, Rudy, that's, isn't that great? And his son, who happens to be a great golfer, a lot of people say, oh, how's Andrew? Not that good, let me tell you, he's seriously good. Andrew Giuliani, thank you, Andrew. Thank you, Andrew, did a good job. And a very beautiful little boy who went through hell but I brought him some presents. That's why I was late for you today. I brought him presents. I said, Liam, do you think the crowd of 20,000 plus a lot of people outside, you know, we put up big televisions on the back of the building, but that's not like being here. It's wonderful. Hello out there. I hope you're enjoying it. Big, big, beautiful screens. We have big screens. Not quite like being in the third row, first row, but Liam LeCastro is here and he is a great young man. He's He's gone through, he's gone through a lot, but he's gonna be better soon, right, Liam? And I got him the most beautiful present. He's a great boy, great parents, beautiful sister. Also with us are members of New York City Firefighters Union, Local 94, the largest in the city. Thank you, fellas. Incredible people. And in their honor, I'm on, and, and I think this is a big deal, because in your honor, I am announcing tonight that as president, I will officially make the Ground Zero site at the World Trade Center a national monument protected and maintained by the United States government, so that hallowed ground and the memory of those who perished there will be preserved for all time, preserved forever. And you deserve it. A lot of great people. I met them last week. Thank you. Thank you. Well, and I met them last week with the ceremony. 
And it was a beautiful ceremony and uh, met a lot of fantastic people. The New Yorkers who created the 9-11 National Memorial Museum really did an amazing job, didn't they? And many of them are here today, and I want to thank them. And I want to ensure that their outstanding work is sustained forever, and that's what we've done by doing this. So we are just 48 days away from the most important election in American history. The most important. The most important. Stand up. I just — now you can stand up. They didn't put your name down. Turn around. Who is he? Name him. He took care of business, right? It's my man. Good. Boy, I'm glad I didn't forget you. Good guy. Good friend of mine for a long time. Whenever I had problems, they'd look at him and they'd say, let's leave Trump alone. Thank you, man. Thank you. We appreciate it. Great, great gentleman. Kamala Harris is for wide open borders with terrorists and criminals pouring into our country, more inflation, even higher than the last four years, which was a record. She wants to pack the Supreme Court. Think of that one. And today, I heard it all. I thought they wanted maybe 11. Maybe they wanted 13. That's an unlucky number, so maybe it would be 15 instead of nine. But instead of nine, Kamala wants to bring up potentially as many as 25 justices so that they can rig the system like they rig everything else, including elections. And maybe one of the worst things of all, she is a true believer. And again, I said this before, if you wanted to fund the police, if you've been there even for a day, in your mind, you wanted to fund the police even for one day, you are not qualified to be the President of the United States. Hi, folks. RSBN founder and CEO Joe Seals here. Did you know there is nearly $1 trillion of infrastructure and pandemic funds yet to be spent? That's right. There's a massive amount of money that the lame duck administration is pushing hard to spend in their last few months. If the president is able to push these funds out, we could see another prolonged inflation surge, just like during COVID. And I'm sure you remember the terrible effects that high prices had on most Americans. But there's hope. A surge in prices can be beaten. A gold IRA from Birch Gold Group is the ultimate inflation hedge for your savings in uncertain times. To see how to protect your IRA or 401k, get your free info kit on gold by texting the word TRUMP to 989898. Birch Gold makes it seamless to roll over your retirement account while preserving your tax advantage status. Don't wait for the president's spending spree to tank the dollar further. Protect your financial future now. Text TRUMP to the number 989898 for your free info kit from Birch Gold. Because anybody who wants to defund the police we can't have it. We can't have it. It'll go down. It'll go down. We're not going to let — we're not going to let our country fail. It's too great. And you know what? If we don't win this election, it's very possible we'll never have another chance. We have to do it. You have to get out. You have to vote. But Kamala vowed to abolish ICE. She supports free health care for illegal aliens. How about that one? You don't get free health care. These are all things that she was for years. Now, for the last little while, she's saying, no, I don't really think I, that was right anymore. Fifteen different things. She wants mass amnesty and citizenship for all illegals, which means totally bankrupting Social Security and Medicare. She wants to put illegal aliens into your Social Security and your Medicare system, which guarantees their bankruptcy. She says, we must not utter the words illegal alien again or radical Islamic terrorist again. And think of this, during her three and a half year, to me, this is the worst thing I talk about tonight. It's unbelievable. unbelievable. During her period of three and a half years, she was in charge of the border. She lost more than 325,000 migrant children, many of whom have been trafficked, raped, and many of whom are dead. Many of whom are dead. Three, think of what that is. That's like Yankee Stadium filled up many, many times. Think of it. Think of it. As California Attorney General, she redefined child sex trafficking, assault with a deadly weapon, and rape. 
of an unconscious person. I'd never heard of this. Rape of a very unconscious person as totally nonviolent crimes. She vowed repeatedly to ban fracking. She imposed a natural gas export ban that is crushing the state of Pennsylvania. I'm way up in Pennsylvania, by the way. This helps. Because she's not going to let, you know, the day after the election, all of these things come back. I hope you know that. She praised the idea of a tax rate of between 70 and 80 percent. And her only idea for solving inflation is to impose communist-inspired price controls, which have never worked. She pledged to abolish. Does anybody here have private health care? You worked hard. She wants, to she wants to abolish anybody that's worked hard and made some money. Private health care, no more private health care, and force everyone into a socialist government-run health care with high taxes and deadly wait times. And she even endorsed free sex change operations for illegal aliens in detention, all at taxpayer expense. Now, think of that one. They come into the country illegally and they say, I want to change my sex. Oh, that's okay. She's totally in favor of it. I'm sure she'll deny it now, but she, that's what she is. In 2021, Joe Biden tasked Kamala Harris with bringing broadband to rural America. Rural America was dying for it and gave her $42 billion to do the job. Three years later, right now, not a single home has been connected to broadband. Everyone's saying, what happened to the money? $42 billion, not one home. And in the Midwest, you read this, in the Midwest, they built eight charging stations. That's like a gas pump with electricity, right? Eight. They spent $9 billion to build eight charging stations. Under than that, other than that, it really works well. I will end the electric mandate on cars immediately. <laughs>